do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello friends as you can see on the screen that it is basically uh, we are going to talk about that is the relationship between empirical formula and molecular formula so the first thing is before uh, giving a relationship between what is empirical formula and uh, what is the relationship between the molecular formula the first thing we have to do is that we should understand that how the empirical formula is been determined for a particular compound so let us see that how the particular uh, empirical formula is been calculated for a compound and then we could talk about that what will be the relationship of a particular uh, empirical formula of a compound and the molecular formula of that compound so let us see so the first thing is it is important to determine the empirical formula of a compound because if we can't uh, if we won't uh, determine the empirical formula it would be very difficult to analyze that what would be the molecular formula of the compound so therefore the following are the steps to determine the empirical formula which we are going to talk about and this following steps will be very crucial to solve the numericals that we are going to do in future so we have to pay very close attention and we have to do it very thoroughly and make sure that we won't skip any kind of steps that we are going to talk about so let us talk with the first step so this is the first and the second step that we have to determine uh, or we have to uh, make sure that we are paying a pure attention on it so the first thing is that the percentage of every element is calculated experimentally the first thing that we are doing is suppose if we have got a particular compound so the first thing what we are going to do is we are determining the percentage of the particular element for example if carbon hydrogen oxygen if they are present in a particular compound so we will determine that how much amount of carbon is present how much amount of hydrogen and that of oxygen is present so this is what we will determine the percentage by mass of each uh, element uh, experimentally the first thing that we are going to do now moving towards the next one the sum of all the percentage of elements must be 100 so suppose if we determine the percentage by mass of the particular element and if we sum up all those then it should be 100 so what happens if it is not 100 so if it is less than 100 then the difference indicates the presence of oxygen so let me give you uh, a small example suppose if i have uh, got a compound which consists of carbon hydrogen and oxygen and suppose if carbon uh, quantity is uh, 40 percent while that of hydrogen quantity is uh, 40 percent and while that of oxygen is again uh, that is 20 percent so if i sum up all this that is 40 percent plus 40 percent and again uh, 20 percent then i could get a sum of 100 so suppose if uh, during analysis suppose if i have got the percentage by mass of carbon as 60 while that of the hydrogen as 10 so and i have not analyzed the next one so it indicates what suppose if i indicate if i have analyzed only for carbon and only for hydrogen in this case so therefore 60 percentage plus 10 percentage it makes a total of 70 percentage and it is less than 100 percent so where is the other percentage gone the other percentage will be for oxygen so that means 30 percent will be for oxygen so this is how we calculate or we determine uh, through the uh, percentage by mass of a particular uh, compound so this was the first step that we should understand very thoroughly now moving towards the next one that is the second one would be on dividing the percentage of each element by its atomic mass the number of moles of that element is been determined so suppose if we have calculated that what is the percentage by mass of a particular element so what we have to do is we have to divide it by the atomic mass of that element so as we know that the number of moles is nothing but a ratio of weight divided by molecular weight as we know so in this case we have got the percentage by mass that is mass itself and if we divide it by the atomic mass of its element then we will get the number of moles so that is what it have indicated on the second point that is on dividing the percentage of each element by its atomic mass the number of moles of that element can be determined so this is the second step and now moving towards the third one that is suppose the ratio obtained may not be a whole number hence each value is divided by lowest number to obtain simplest ratio so that one of the value becomes unity so what does this points is talking about suppose in this case uh, 
again i am talking about uh, suppose three uh, uh, elements of just for a short instance that is for carbon hydrogen and oxygen suppose for each element we have calculated or we have followed the point number 2 that is we have calculated the number of moles so for carbon the weight divided by the molecular weight or uh, divided by the atomic weight that is 12 the weight divided by the 12 while that of the hydrogen if i would say then uh, the percentage of mass that is the weight divided by the atomic mass of the hydrogen that is divided by 1 and while talking about the oxygen uh, whatever we have got the percentage by mass i will divide it by the atomic mass of oxygen that is 16. so in this case i have got the number of moles of uh, each and every element so suppose in this case if i have got uh, if i have not got a particular integer uh, in a particular whole number ratio so what i am going to do is i am in the next step i will what i will do i will divide the number with the smallest number so as to get a whole number ratio so let us see that uh, what is uh, the point number three is talking about so let us start again that the ratio obtained may not be a whole number hence each value is divided by the lowest number to obtain simple ratio so in this case suppose uh, we have got uh, the number of moles for carbon hydrogen and oxygen so if suppose if they are not in a proper uh, whole number so what we are going to do we are going to divide by the smallest number because among three one of uh, the number of moles will be the smallest number of moles so what we are going to do we are going to divide that number with each elements number of moles so that in this case the every uh, uh, mole ratio that we will get uh, will get in a proper whole number as well as as well as the one of the among them will have a unit that it will have a unit value suppose if hydrogen has a smallest number ratio like 1.98 and uh, carbon that is suppose 2.0 and for uh, uh, that is oxygen it is suppose 3.0 so what i'm going to do is i'm going to divide every number by 1.998 so in this case the hydrogen if i divide 1.98 divided by 1.98 it will be one so among the whole uh, three uh, uh, elements one of one one of the element will have that uh, atomic ratio as unity that is one so this was the third point that we are going to, we have talked about now move towards the next one that is the above values are then multiplied by the lowest integer so as to get a value which is integral value or a whole number so suppose in this case also suppose if we have got a value which is uh, not a whole value suppose for hydrogen suppose we have got as one but for other elements we have not got uh, a particular value uh, which is a whole number so what we are going to do we are going to multiply with, with a, a smallest number so as to obtain a particular whole number so that integer that is the lowest integer that we are going to multiply it can be one to anyone so we should multiply by that number so as the overall uh, whole uh, overall ratio that we will get will be a basically a whole number so this is how we have uh, followed the point number four this kind of numerical or this kind of analysis will be very much easy to understand when we we'll, uh, do the uh, numerical of that so we are going to do in future also so now let us move on toward the next point or the next thing that we should understand that is point number five and the last one is that is the whole numbers uh, that we have obtained is representation of the number of corresponding atoms present in the empirical formula so suppose we have got the whole number of each element that is for carbon hydrogen and oxygen and other elements might also be present so suppose i am talking about only these three elements so in this case we'll get a particular whole number of for each element and this is nothing but it represents that this much amount of uh, the element has been present while we are talking about empirical formula so now moving towards the next one that is the point number six from this the case we have got uh, the empirical formula but from the empirical formula mass and molecular mass a factor n can be obtained so this n is nothing but the molecular mass we have got or initially we have a molecular mass suppose so what we are going to do we have got the molecular formula so we are converting the molecular formula into molecular mass so therefore the molecular mass divided by the empirical formula mass this will give a factor like n and now the molecular formula can be determined how the molecular formula of the compound can be calculated as 
the molecular formula which is equals to n that we have calculated now with the formula of that is molecular mass divided by the empirical formula mass multiplied by the empirical formula that we have calculated so this has given us a relationship between molecular formula and empirical formula so this is the most important thing that we have did today and how can we determine a particular empirical formula as well as molecular formula of a particular compound so the numerical we are going to do in the future also but to make sure that this kind of uh, points that we have did today we should not forget and we should uh, make it thorough in our mind so as to calculate uh, the numericals that we are going to do so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video and please share this video with friends and yes don't forget to subscribe channel. thank you so much